Imagine this, a cosmic wanderer older than our sun hurtling through our solar system at a blistering 130,000 miles per hour, defying the rules of physics as we know them. Its name is 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever spotted, and it's not just another comet. This enigmatic visitor, discovered on July 1st, 2025 by NASA's Atlas survey, is rewriting what we thought we understood about comets, interstellar space, and perhaps even the nature of our universe. Its dust streams toward the sun when it should be blown away. Its chemical makeup is strangely silent where it should be screaming with activity. And its trajectory? It's threading a needle through our solar system, passing dangerously close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter in a way that defies astronomical odds. So, what is 3i Atlas? Why is it behaving so strangely? And could it be hinting at something far stranger than we're ready to accept? Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the mystery of 3i Atlas, a cosmic puzzle that's leaving even NASA's top scientists scratching their heads. If you're as fascinated by the unknown as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's embark on this interstellar journey together. Let's start at the beginning. On July 1, 2025, a telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, part of NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, picked up a faint, moving speck in the constellation Sagittarius, about 420 million miles from Earth. At first, astronomers thought it might be a routine near-Earth object, but within hours, its trajectory told a different story. This wasn't orbiting our sun like a typical comet or asteroid. Its path was hyperbolic, a steep, open curve that screamed one thing. This object came from beyond our solar system. Named 3i Atlas, with the 3i marking it as the third confirmed interstellar object after 1i Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019, it immediately grabbed the attention of the global astronomy community. Unlike its predecessors, 3i Atlas wasn't just passing through quietly. It was big, potentially up to 7 miles wide, dwarfing Oumuamua's 200 meters and Borisov's 1 kilometer. And it was active, showing signs of a comet with a glowing coma of gas and dust. But here's where things get weird. Its behavior didn't match any comet we've ever studied. Comets are like cosmic snowballs made of ice, dust, and rock. As they approach the sun, solar heat causes their ices to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas, releasing dust and creating a bright coma and a tail that always points away from the sun due to solar radiation pressure. It's a predictable dance, one we've seen in countless comets like Hale-Bopp or Halley's. But 3i Atlas? It's breaking the rules. When NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured its sharpest image on July 21st, 2025 at 277 million miles from Earth, it revealed a teardrop-shaped dust cocoon streaming toward the sun, not away from it. This is like seeing a kite flying into the wind instead of with it. Solar radiation should push dust particles outward, forming a tail in the opposite direction. Yet, 3i Atlas's dust plume clings stubbornly to the sun-facing side, defying basic physics. To make things stranger, early spectroscopic scans, those light fingerprints that tell us what a comet is made of, showed almost nothing. Normally, active comets glow with cyanogen, diatomic carbon, or other volatile gases, their chemical signatures lighting up at specific wavelengths. But for weeks after its discovery, 3i Atlas's spectrum was eerily blank, like a fire that burns without smoke. Only later, as it neared the sun, did a faint trace of cyanogen appear, weak and delayed, as if the comet was reluctant to reveal its secrets. This sunward dust tail and missing chemical markers sent astronomers scrambling for explanations. One theory is that 3i Atlas's surface might be crusted over, hardened by billions of years of exposure to cosmic radiation in interstellar space. This crust could shield its inner ices, delaying sublimation until it gets closer to the sun. Another idea suggests its spin axis might be oddly aligned, exposing only certain regions to solar heat, creating uneven outgassing but neither fully explains the sunward dust or the delayed chemistry. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, added another twist on August 6, 2025, when its near-infrared spectrograph detected a cloud of carbon dioxide around 3i Atlas, stretching 348,000 kilometers. 
with a mass loss rate of 70 kilograms per second. Surprisingly, water vapor was nearly absent, with an upper limit of just 4.5 kilograms per second. This is unusual. Most comets are water-rich, but 3I Atlas seems to favor carbon dioxide, hinting it formed in a distant region of its parent star's protoplanetary disk, possibly at the carbon dioxide ice line where temperatures allowed CO2 to freeze. This composition, combined with its size and behavior, suggests 3I Atlas could be a relic from a star system vastly different from our own. Now, let's talk size. Early estimates from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which released its first images in June 2025, pegged 3I Atlas's nucleus at about 7 miles wide, making it the largest interstellar object ever seen. Later Hubble data refined this to a maximum of 3.5 miles, still massive compared to Oumuamua and Borisov. For context, Halley's Comet is about 7 miles across, and it's a giant among solar system comets. The odds of spotting something this big from interstellar space are staggering, less than one in a million according to some models. The Atlas survey, designed to catch near-Earth asteroids, shouldn't have snagged such a rare beast unless there's something unusual about its path or our assumptions about interstellar objects. This size anomaly raises a question. Is 3i Atlas a fluke, or are we missing a whole population of massive interstellar visitors? The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, set to begin its decade-long legacy survey of space and time, might find up to 50 more in the next 10 years, but for now, 3i Atlas stands alone as a statistical outlier. Speaking of its path, the trajectory of 3i Atlas is nothing short of jaw-dropping. It's not just passing through, it's threading a cosmic needle. On October 3, 2025, it will zip within 29 million kilometers of Mars, close enough for NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to potentially snap high-resolution images. Four weeks later, on October 30th, it reaches perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at 1.4 astronomical units just inside Mars's orbit. Then, on November 3rd, it swings within 0.65 astronomical units of Venus, a region rarely crossed by comets. This sequence, Mars, Sun, Venus, in such a short window is extraordinary. Monte Carlo simulations, which run billions of random trajectories, show that the odds of an interstellar object passing this close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, which it skims later, are less than 0.005%, or 1 in 20,000. Imagine throwing a dart blindfolded at a spinning globe and hitting three specific cities in a row. That's the level of precision we're talking about. Its low retrograde inclination, just five degrees from the ecliptic, makes this even stranger, aligning it closely with the plane of our planets, a coincidence with odds of 1 in 500 for a random object. This improbable path has sparked intense debate. Some astronomers, like Adam Hibbard and Abraham Loeb, have even suggested cautiously that 3i Atlas's trajectory might not be entirely random. In a controversial preprint, they propose it could be a technological object, perhaps a probe, citing its precise planetary flybys and the low probability of such alignments. They point to its alignment with the ecliptic and its potential to use a reverse solar oberth maneuver at perihelion a technique spacecraft used to break using a star's gravity. While most scientists dismiss this as speculative, the idea gained traction because 3i Atlas's anomalies don't fit neatly into natural explanations. Its size, trajectory, and behavior are so unusual that even mainstream researchers are open to unconventional ideas. For now, though, the consensus is that it's a comet, just a very strange one. Let's dive into another anomaly, its brightness. Quantum AI tools used to sift through Atlas's massive dataset flagged something extraordinary, a repeating pattern in 3i Atlas's light curve like a cosmic heartbeat. This periodicity, detected with a statistical confidence exceeding 99.99%, doesn't match the expected spin of a comet nucleus this size, which should rotate every few hours or days. Instead, the signal pulses on a tighter schedule, persisting across multiple nights and telescopes, including Hubble. This isn't random noise. It's a real, consistent rhythm, like a metronome in a storm. Traditional comet science links brightness changes to rotation or outgassing bursts, but 3i Atlas's pattern doesn't align with either. Some speculate it could be a structural feature like a reflective patch on its surface, 
but the signal's precision challenges that idea. The AI's ability to spot this in a sea of noisy data highlights how new tools are changing astronomy, letting us see patterns human eyes might miss. Then there's the acceleration. When researchers plotted 3i Atlas's path, they found a tiny but persistent deviation from what gravity alone predicts, about 10 rho 7 meters per second squared. This is too large to be explained by solar radiation pressure on a comet of this size. Normally, cometary acceleration comes from outgassing, where jets of vaporized ice act like thrusters. But 3i Atlas showed this deviation before clear signs of outgassing appeared and the usual chemical markers were absent or delayed. Could it be a thin, reflective nucleus acting like a natural solar sail? Or exotic ices like nitrogen or carbon monoxide vaporizing unpredictably? No model fully explains it yet. The quantum AI flagged this as a genuine anomaly, not an artifact, and cross-checks with Hubble and ground-based data confirmed it. This subtle nudge, combined with the sunward dust and odd chemistry, pushes 3i Atlas into uncharted territory. Let's address a common misconception. Is 3i Atlas an alien spacecraft? The idea, fueled by its anomalies and Loeb's paper, has sparked online buzz. But science demands evidence, and so far, there's no smoking gun. The object's cometary features, dust, CO2, and faint cyanogen, point to a natural origin, likely a chunk of ice and rock from another star system. Its trajectory, while improbable, can still be explained by gravitational interactions over billions of years. Oumuamua sparked similar speculation due to its own non-gravitational acceleration, later attributed to faint outgassing. 3i Atlas is likely following a similar path, just with stranger symptoms. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and for now, the data leans toward a natural, albeit bizarre, comet. Still, the debate keeps us curious, pushing us to question what we think we know. So what does 3i Atlas tell us about the universe? Its size and composition suggest it formed in a star system unlike ours, possibly in a region rich in carbon dioxide ices. Its age, estimated at 7 to 11 billion years, makes it a relic from the Milky Way's thick disk, a region of ancient stars far older than our 4.6 billion year old sun. Studying it is like opening a time capsule from another star's birth. Its trajectory hints at a violent past, perhaps ejected by a gravitational slingshot from its home system billions of years ago. Each observation, Hubble's dust plume, JWST's CO2 cloud, the AI's periodicity, adds a piece to the puzzle revealing how diverse interstellar objects can be. The fact that we've only seen three such visitors underscores how rare and precious these opportunities are. As 3E Atlas races toward perihelion, astronomers are mobilizing every tool they have. The transiting exoplanet survey satellite, TESS, caught early activity as far back as May 7, 2025 when it was 6.4 AU from the Sun, suggesting it's been active longer than expected. The Neil Garrel Swift Observatory and Gemini South have confirmed water ice and hydroxide ions, hinting at a complex icy core. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor, set to launch in 2029, is designed to chase future interstellar objects, but 3i Atlas will be long gone by then. Proposals to redirect spacecraft like NASA's Juno or Mars orbiters for a flyby are being explored, but time and fuel constraints make it unlikely. For now, we're limited to telescopes, but each image brings us closer to understanding this cosmic enigma. What's next for 3i Atlas? By late October 2025, it will reach its closest point to the sun, potentially growing a spectacular tail as its ices vaporize. After swinging past Venus in November, it will head back toward interstellar space, never to return. Astronomers expect its coma to expand and its chemistry to evolve, possibly revealing more about its makeup. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, with its massive 8.4-meter mirror, will keep watch potentially spotting more interstellar objects in the future. Each new data set could crack the case, or deepen the mystery. If you're excited to follow this cosmic detective story, drop a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think 3i Atlas is hiding? And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the universe's greatest mysteries. In conclusion, 3i Atlas is more than just a comet. It's a challenge to our understanding of the cosmos.
its sunward dust, delayed chemistry, improbable trajectory, and strange acceleration push the boundaries of comet science. It reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, each one a chance to learn something new. Whether it's a natural oddity or a hint of something stranger, 3ii Atlas is a cosmic messenger, carrying secrets from a star system we may never see. As we watch it race through our solar system, we're reminded of the power of curiosity and the tools, like Hubble, JWST, and Quantum AI, that let us peek into the unknown. Keep looking up, stay curious, and let's keep exploring the universe together. Until next time, hit that like button, share this video with a friend, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments.